Most of us are familiar with the speed stretching brought to 2D edits, and while 3D has automatic drawings, changes still require an understanding of how models were constructed. Watch how Solid Edge with synchronous technology has brought stretch editing into 3D. Let's first refresh our memories on what we did back in 2D. To move the base of the part lower, a fence is drawn around the front and side views and stretched into position. To add material to the interior section, a 2D stretch is again used. We got lucky here because these are simple changes and a fence could be made across multiple views. Once something like a symmetric edit is needed, all bets are off. In order to shrink the interior section, two edits are needed, and since we're zoomed in, the changes will not affect the top view. If we want to move the base higher and create a full hole, the process starts with a stretch but ends with drawing. Let's see how 3D stretch edits work in Solid Edge with synchronous technology. Using our Create 3D command, we can quickly move 2D drawings into 3D. Sketches become regions and can be transformed into a 3D model by a simple grab and go. Watch as we select the region and pull the geometry to the correct distance. Whether you're adding material or making cuts, the process is easy. Remember the simplicity with 2D stretching? Solid Edge includes 3D stretching but is significantly more powerful because working on a 3D model lets you quickly visualize your changes. Notice how easy the process is. Just fence the 3D geometry and move it to the correct position. Remember the problems with 2D stretching? As we pull the base higher, the partial hole automatically closes itself. For symmetric edits, live rules step in and keep the intent. No system in the world will allow such fast flexibility, making casual users experts.